A completely optional but fun puzzle with our favorite goose sidekick exists in Act 3 of Inscription. Right off the bat, spoiler alert, this is heavy into the spoilers zone and giving you a little look into some of the characters and what the heck is going on here. Some of them might have even popped up in Act 1, so keep this in mind as we move forwards. What's up everybody, Mark's here and I'm going to be telling you how to unlock this totem in Inscription in the third act of the game. When you get far enough into Act 3, certain objects will start popping into the factory from some of these other scribes. Notably, in the back right of the factory, right by our little goo wizard stuck in the pipes, a totem with a triangle will phase in once you've made it far enough into the game. It is important to mention that you can accidentally stop yourself from being able to find all of the hints, but thankfully, because how the game is coded, the solution is going to be the same for every single instance of the game so you can just throw in the three numbers at the end and it'll work out regardless of what happens. So the first clue will be in a cuckoo clock that appears just to the left of the table. If you input the same code in Act 1, specifically the time code that the goo mentions, the top part of the clock will open up revealing a sigil. Just in case you did miss that, it is going to be 11 o'clock so just make sure that the smallest stand is pointing at the 11 and the other two long ones are at the 12. Then when you open it up, you're going to see this airborne symbol on a card with some lines and dots below it. For the second clue, as soon as you beat the Leshy stand-in in the foul backwater, when you stand up for the table, you'll see the camera just beside where you grabbed the battery for PO3 earlier. If you just click the side of the camera, you'll notice that the camera does spin around, and if you click the camera itself, it'll let off a nice flash. If you set it off just at the right time, you will light up a gravestone on the right side of it, upon which you'll also see a skull and crossbone symbol with some dots and lines similar to the one that you saw on the clock. And finally, the last clue can be found once you've reached the top left part of Votopia. In this section, you'll have two opportunities to make custom cards from PO3. You will notice that there was a custom card shown earlier on the machine right beside PO3. Well, simply just make that card a 2 energy 1-1 one, one annoying alarm and sharpshooter card. The design does have to be the same, but the name doesn't matter. As soon as you print out this card, you'll notice that if you stand up and look at the machine again, this time you'll see some dots and lines and a double attack symbol painted on top of it. Now head over to the totem and use the information you've gotten to put the symbols on it in order from top to bottom. The airborne skull and crossbones, and then double attack. When that happens, you'll be transported to the goo zone, favorite zone of all time, where you'll get to admire the goo's lovely artistic abilities. If he keeps thinking you hate it, don't worry, just turn around and start painting a bunch more, and he'll come around eventually. Of course, if he continues to stay persistent, you can always leave, but just click the tower again and you'll go right back in. And you get a little piece of dialogue and it's just a nice little easter egg that they kind of threw in here and that's just about it here i hope you guys enjoyed this very short video we got more inscription videos for you hope to catch you next time and of course if this helped you make sure to like and make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below we'll catch you next time bye guys